Welcome back guys to another episode from the Nomad Craft server. And we are straight in to the shopping district. Um, we're looking for one shop. And it's not ours. In fact, let's just go and check out this. No, no, no. Okay, looks like the, uh, the sales have dried up. However, this, I believe, is what we are looking for. Oh, yes, it is. Whoa, look at this. Uh, this is a shop of Wurtworts. I think it was decorated by Dippy Bleather. Mix and match records, 12 for a diamond. That is a bargain. That is a bargain. So, we've got the slots. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, oh, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we're just missing the rare ones. Look at this. This is nice. I like it. Mix and match. Twelve for a diamond. Now, there's not actually... Oh, wait. Okay, that's different. I don't think I'm supposed to be down there. <laughs> However, where do I put the diamond? That is the question. I'll tell you what, I have two diamonds because I did promise I would come in and buy the stuff. So that's our first purchase of the day. On to the next shop, this lovely looking thing here. Counts candies. And he sells a lot of stuff that nobody's going to really buy. This is my beacon, by the way. Um, but, oh. Okay, I've been locked out. Okay, so. One diamond for one stack. That's uh, it's expensive. But, oh, oh, aha, he has no ATM. That means we get them for free. I'm only joking. Let's use this one. And let's go and pay for our carrots. I don't actually need these, but I just thought I'd share the, share the wealth. Okay, what's next? over here oh, we'll cut across here oh wow look at this shop this is nice and we have no stock oh we've got two diamonds nice yeah we need to stock up we need to stock up so off to the hat what are you selling one diamond per slot Ooh, that's expensive. Totals of undying. Three diamonds each. Um, should that be three for one diamond, maybe? Three diamonds each? Surely not. I'll I'll wait, because I'm not paying three diamonds. Um, we don't need emeralds. Oh. Wow, he's got a lot of heads. Okay, we don't actually need anything from there, and as much as I want to share the wealth, I do need to be savvy with the diamonds. Where haven't we bought from yet? Aha! This place, where is it? This floating shop. Right here. 
This is TG Mouse's um, organic shop. Everything's 100% organic. Wow. 100% organic chicken eggs. Carrot fed rabbit is out of stock. That must be popular. And caught fish is out of stock. There's obviously some supply issues in here. But he does have an ATM, so that means that we need to buy something from him. Okay, I'm going to do something. Hmm. Should I? Go on then. 16 eggs for one diamond. What a bargain. Absolutely not a bargain. However, we can put these eggs to good use by doing this. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That was not supposed to happen. Oh no, that's bad. Um, okay, we're gonna have to repair this. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Right, let's get these things on the wall first. Oh, I'm missing an item frame somewhere, maybe. So this is watermelon but the pies should be yeah cakes were over here somewhere yep cookies oh that's the stew so cookies are here ah the stew where's the other we're missing an item frame this is bad It just seems to have disappeared. So. Um, okay. So. We'll just put that back in there. And we will sneak out. In fact. There you go. That is compensation. I apologise. Oh, I know what I need to do. Done. Sorted. He would never know. Alrighty then. Okay. That is our shopping done for the day. Let's head back over to the base. In fact, let me show you what we've been up to for the past few days. Let's go. So we're just here searching for eggs. And the game is... Um, Dirty Dog Gaming has left us some sort of egg or five eggs actually somewhere in our base and we have to find them you know the score it's an easter egg hunt um i've only been looking a few minutes but there's nothing uh, sort of glaringly obvious um and my base is pretty big so let's see how it goes here we are egg number one so at least we now know what we're looking for so let's go find the next there's number two okay this is getting much more difficult now i'm up in the uh, the rooms of the hotel um and i've only found two eggs so i'm hoping something's up here i've not checked the church yet oh there's so much of a base to check and I've actually been looking for about 20 minutes now, actually. So, um, yeah. It's not going great. I must say, it's not going great. But we will persevere at least for half an hour. And then if we're still struggling, we might just have to give up on this. Alright, there's nothing up here. Let's head back down. Uh, or up, maybe? <laughs> okay. Now... There's an egg in a frame in my storage room. I'm just going to check the other chests. I know this egg was already here. But I also know Dirty Dog. Would he include that? I found three now. Um, and I can't seem to find any more. 
I'm just running out of ideas. I've checked every building. I didn't think it would actually be this hard. Um, but we might have to leave too. Like, it, does he does he count down the mine as my base? Or, or what? I don't actually know. So, I think I'm going to call it a day. There's definitely nothing in here. It's bedtime for the villagers. Um, and I think that's it for the egg hunt. The two... The two eggs will uh, we'll have to stay missing. Oh, will we? Yeah, nothing here. The two eggs, I think that's me. Before I get killed, I am getting out of here. So, the Easter egg hunt. Um, I still haven't found them other two eggs, and it's been a week or so now. Um, before I finish, I'm going to show you this build that you can see here. Oh, yes. We are building Balamori. Oops. No, we're not. Um, I just wanted to get some housing in. And I was going to do all brick housing. And then I decided, actually, no. I'm going to do all different colours. It kind of looks like Balamori. It kind of looks like the lakeside um, property in Copenhagen, if you've ever been. Which is a lovely city, by the way. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a row of these. To fill up the city a little bit uh, as I fly around you'll see the city is getting bigger so we are expanding and look by the way look at this oh boy yes it's amazing I know I know um, this was actually built by FL Trash Panda, um, and he took over the contract from Joni Moon, who's away for a while, um, and he's built this lovely thing for me. I have paid him in kind. In kind? No, 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 no. We did not pay him in kind. We paid him in diamonds, because that's what the Mafia deal in. Um, yeah, it costs us 20 diamonds, but that is money well spent. I hope you agree. I think it was 20 diamonds? No, I think it might be more. I don't know. But it was well worth it. It was well worth it. And watch this. Watch. Just watch. Bump. 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 Apply. Uh, oh. Apply. There we go. There we go. Very bright, actually, BSL shaders. Might need to play around with that, but look at that. Oh, yes. Jeffrey Square is coming on nicely. But that's it for today. Um, By the time I launch this episode, if you haven't already heard, there is a fan SMP. If you are interested in joining, you must join the Discord, and that is in the description. Have a look in the description below. Yeah, you can like this video, that will help. You can subscribe to my channel, that will help more. And then you can join the Nomad Craft Fan SMP. Oh! SMP. Thank you for watching, guys, and we will see you next time on Nomad Craft. Goodbye.